So, you've just got a shiny new catalogue with the chill season and you want to complete it as fast as you possibly can so you can unlock some of those great rewards. This is definitely great to do because there are some things that are exclusive to the catalogue. For example, we have emotes and there's also pieces of gear that you can only get in the shops once you've unlocked them in the catalogue. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the fastest way to get your catalogue completed in Splatoon 3. Now, there's actually a few different ways of looking at this, but one ultimate best way that I'm going to explain. You can earn points towards your catalogue in various different ways, for example, playing Anarchy Battles, Turf War, and Salmon Run. Typically, you're going to get the least amount of catalogue points by doing Salmon Run, I find, so it might not be a good idea to focus there if you solely want to level up your catalogue. Of course, you do get other great Salmon Run rewards, though, so it's kind of a two-for-one deal. However, it should be said that during big runs, your catalogue points are multiplied, which is definitely a lot better. Still not as good as what we're going to go on to explain, but hey. Now, generally speaking, the best ways to consistently level up your catalogue would be Anarchy Battles and Turf War, as you'll get a lot of catalogue points for doing them. Anarchy Battles may be a little bit less so, especially if you can't consistently win every single time. If you can, then this is absolutely the best way to level up your catalogue in my opinion. But if you can't, then it might be worth just focusing on Turf Wars, which are a lot easier to get wins at in my opinion. It should be pretty easy to level up your catalogue fast just by playing a ton of Turf War every day. Then you'll also get the benefits of consistently earning cash and experience points too, even if you don't win. Whereas when you do lose with an Anarchy Battle, you really aren't rewarded that much, so I feel like the safer option is Turf Wars unless you're one of those expert pro players. However, these two modes are stamped out by the absolute best way to earn points, which unfortunately can only be done during Splatfest. Like with Big Run, your catalogue points will be multiplied by 1.2 during a Splatfest, so you can make an absolute ton of progress on your catalogue, and it's even better to do it during this time because you'll also get conch shells as your catalogue levels up, giving you those free shell out machine pulls. Of course, Splatfests don't really last for that long, you've only got a little period of time where you can really earn these catalogue points, but I'd highly recommend that when the next Splatfest does come around for you, whenever that may be, that you focus on grinding your catalogue during this period. Play a ton of it, it'll definitely be worth it in the long run, because like I said earlier, you'll still be gaining a lot of cash, you'll be gaining experience, you'll be gaining conch shells, and you'll be getting a ton of progress on your catalogue. We also can't forget that you do get a win bonus every day which will help you level up your catalogue. As long as you get this bonus every single day, which I do recommend doing, you should be able to attain at least one catalogue level every single day without even putting any extra effort in. But personally, if you want to complete it, I would say try and level up your catalogue more than just once a day. Let me know what progress you've made down in the comments section below on your current catalogue, I'd love to hear. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Catalog Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more. I'm trying to get to 20k subscribers before the end of the year, so I'd really appreciate your subscription.